You recently discussed about how the angel investing world is different. The founders have more power than they did in the past. It's shifted, right? Yes, shifting. Mm -hmm. It's still shifting. The founders have ever more power. So that means the investors basically have to do things the way the founders would like. Mm -hmm. I said yesterday that if you want to be if you want to be an investor ahead of your time, just figure out how founders would like you to behave and start doing that now because that's what everyone's going to be doing soon. Ultimately, is that good for business, the fact that the, the power has shifted? Probably. I don't know for sure, mm -hmm. but I feel like the founders, the founders know more about the startups than the investors do. And so if the people who have more knowledge also have more power, okay. that's probably good. I mean, why, why Combinator is sort of is based on the idea that the founders are going to win and yeah. that we should just give into it and just like do whatever the founders want. You know, don't even try to like collude in order to hold back this wave because it's this giant demographic change. It's a waste of time to try yeah. and fight it. There's two fundamental things uh, mm -hmm. that are driving everything else. One is that it's a lot cheaper to start a startup, mm -hmm. right? And the power of investors comes from the fact that they have the money. If you need less money, they have less power, right? Um, and boy, has that changed since the, like the 1980s, back when basically starting a startup meant going to investors and begging their permission to even start the company, right? <laughs> you know, that's what it used to be like, even yeah. like 10 years ago. Um, the other big demographic change is that it's just becoming more socially acceptable mm -hmm. to start a startup. And in TechCrunch, you don't realize you know, you're in this world where starting a startup is the coolest thing in the world. How could it not be socially acceptable, right? But like in middle America, especially, you know, with people's parents, mm -hmm. even if they themselves want to start a startup, starting a startup seems like this very unusual, risky, even dubious thing mm -hmm. to do, yeah. right? And that is changing rapidly. So what are the implications of that then? You know, the idea that it's now cool or okay to be you know an entrepreneur what effect does that have on other tech centers outside of silicon valley like in new york or well, elsewhere actually uh ron conway was just at y combinator last mm -hmm. tuesday and one of the most interesting things he said when he was speaking at the dinner was that a lot of his portfolio companies are now in new york and he thought new york was the hot new thing um so we were talking about this afterwards and trying to figure out like why new york and not boston because yeah. it was always that Boston was the number two, uh, the number two startup spot mm -hmm. after Silicon Valley, and my guess is that it's this phenomenon we were just talking about, that it is considered socially acceptable to do a startup, mm -hmm. right? Like, it always has been in Silicon Valley, or at least for values of always after about 1985, right? Um, but that idea is sort of gradually spread to the rest of the country, and it started to spread to mm -hmm. New York in the bubble. Yeah. But boy, did people in New York get burned by the bubble, you know, even worse than yeah. here. So they sort of dipped one toe uh -huh. into the startup and they ran away. swimming yeah. pool. And then the water suddenly boiled, right? And they're like, ow, that, what a lousy swimming pool. I'm never going to do that again, right? And then, like, you know, eventually they said, okay, maybe that was a bad data point. Mm. We're finally seeing the sort of the recovery after the internet bubble. And it seems like the two things are so far yeah. apart that no one would realize that that was what was going on. You know, and here the recovery from the bubble started in, you know, 2004 yeah. or five or something like that. That I think is what's going on. That New York is full of energetic ass kickers.